What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Jurassic Park attendance, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the combiner form volcanic, volcanicus, I guess, I don't know. I don't care. I'm sorry, I don't. At least I'm honest about it, you know? I'm not trying to pull the wool over your eyes or anything. It's just... But there they all are together in robot mode, and I, look, I don't think it works. I don't think they're very threatening or intimidating, which is something I feel like they all should be, but there they are. Uh, I can say on the positive, they are kind of cohesive. You know, they do look like they're all cut from the same cloth. I'm just not sure I'd wear a sweater made from it. But they do have a team vibe. I think they all should have been Voyagers, honestly. Like, I, th I think that was a huge oversight. But let's continue. And there they all are in dinosaur mode. And, you know, this one's kind of a hit or miss situation as well. Some obviously look better than others. Some work better than others. But, you know, overall, it's not terrible. All right, so we have all the components. Let's build them. Leg. Leg. Arm. arm okay <laughs> cleaned up we'll take a look at them now i know there's a couple things i've taken the liberty of just making because like this can come down you know and some people might like that a little bit better i, I, th I think it looks better collapsed you know I, I don't think there's a great option to begin with to be honest but there's a couple things if they don't look like these snarl wings it's just my personal preference it shouldn't affect the review. So I will say, like, he is fairly stable, you know, even for being kind of as spindly as he is. And I say that and he's having a hard time, but trust me, like, when you set him up and get him balanced, like, he won't have a problem standing, really. <laughs> so the head, swivel. That's it. We got gold paint, red paint, silver paint, and the sculpt is fair enough. I like that they put the crown in. There's some scratching on the eyes. I'm not sure if that was there when he bought it or if he did that himself, but I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Dinobots combining, but that being said, I do like the idea of Grimlock's head kind of being the centerpiece, like Predaking, like Razor Claw. All right. Shoulders, ratcheted, you won't have any problem. And you go out to the side, 90 degrees, no problem. You know, some of this stuff might come undone, but I, I think you'll get the point. Double jointed elbow, get your way past 90 degrees. Maybe you're to get a little bit more out of her. Wrist swivel. Fingers are on a base pin knuckle here. The thumb is on a ball peg. And then we have a bicep swivel as well. So and this guy's same for the other side. Just imagine this hand plugged in. Waist swivel. You can get an ab crunch back with like a reverse ab crunch I mean it's silly but it's there so I'm going to mention it we have a waist swivel we have this hips so the hips you can also you can have kind of collapse like this there is a number of things I wish pegged in a bit better you know if you want this like it kind of reminds you of Combiner Wars Minasaur but I, I think, I honestly think that looks worse. So we'll go up here and we'll keep that down. Oh, this is a mess. This thing is a mess. All right, universal joints is the same as Grimlock, so you can get all the way up, no problems, all the way back, all the way out to the side. Look, it just keeps coming apart. It's just, it's just junk. Thigh swivel, but it's like off center, so it's not like a proper swivel. You do get it down here above the knee and that's ratcheted, so I think that counts. The knee does get you a 90 degree, a little bit past 90 degree bend. So no issues there. That's the same for the other side. And then the feet pretty much just get you a swivel. And then it's nice that they actually get you a rocker. So that's a nice little upgrade. I don't think they, I can't remember if they offered that in the past, but I can't remember. I can't recall, but I, it doesn't seem like they did. And that's, uh, that's this guy. We'll look at him from the back. <laughs> I think it looks like a spider, it was a spider monkey. Size comparison, just to stay consistent. There it is with RC, and we'll throw this guy in there, or gal, just for a sense of scale, the Legends class figure. Final thoughts wise, like I've said this before, and I'll say it again, the Dinobots shouldn't combine in my opinion. Like what makes them cool is that they could take on anybody and they didn't need to combine. This, I'm afraid to touch it though. You can collapse these Grimlock arms. Let me just try one a bit more, kind of 
get them out of the way and not make them so obvious. It, this thing is a mess. It, it's it's stable in the terms of like it'll stand up and down and it, the a lot of the joints will hold the weight. The problem is a lot of things don't connect super securely. So like the whole waist section with Grimlock where it flips and plugs in, that connection is not super secure. So that has a tendency to flop around. The, the arms, like the, the proportions of this thing are such a mess. Let, let's take a look at them. Like these proportions are, they're just simply not okay. Like the negative space almost makes an Autobot symbol. The relationship of the bulk to the shoulders, the relationship of the arms to the legs, like it just, it just, I'm sorry, it, just, it simply doesn't work. It just looks bad. There are things, and to be fair, science to an extent, that make the quote unquote human form. Every time I say that, I have somebody saying, but it isn't human. I know it's not human, dude, but that is the basis for the general shape. There is math that makes that stuff look right. And these formulas are all over the place. It just fundamentally doesn't work. Now, there is silver lining. The silver lining is it's a set of affordable Dinobots that are styled after a G1 aesthetic. And that's true. And that will work. I don't think it's the best available. If you wanted to go with a G1 aesthetic that fits your classics line, I still strongly recommend the Toy World set. Their combiner isn't anything to write home about either, but the bots individually look great for that motif. This is just... <sighs> It's just not okay. The materials are light. The presence is trash. The stability is there in the sense of being able to weight bear, but it's not there in the sense of its general design and how it's supposed to support that weight. What I mean by that, these knee joints and ratchets and the connector systems, they all work appropriately. However, the lack of connectivity here and the weight that you have distributed across the top, it's almost like a seesaw and there's a tendency to flip the thing backward. I don't mean the whole piece. I just mean this upper section. I don't find it to be the relatively clean. When it's all said and done, it's over a hundred dollars with taxes and all that kind of stuff especially if you include this thing which he also sent my way for a review but I just I just can't if it turned into a weapon or something I would have incorporated it there but I don't I don't even believe it does I will say about that that I think it's cool to add like additional Dinobot characters to the team like I even like did with the fans project female characters etc like I, I just thought it was cool and I think this character is actually supposed to be a female so I wonder if fans project didn't inspire that so yeah it just doesn't work I, I don't know how else to say it there is enough paint there's some cool cohesiveness to it in terms of the color palette it's just ugly it kind of looks like a like an upside down w thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care mr scopus i i believe the goal here is to dig in deep into some of these issues that you spoke about earlier in our sessions about realizing the tendency to default to aggression to anger your need for control. Well, I got news for you. need to inform, to teach, to be the one, the bringer of information. You know what? And some of these items, you, I think that you have to let go. We, we, we've gone to the place, we're at the point now that we have to let go and, and be comfortable with being uncomfortable. You know what makes me angry? What's that? John Geringer sent me these Dinobots. Mm. <clears throat> the, all the Dinobots fit into a box this... Mm. This How size. Big is the box? This size. Uh -huh. Medium sized box. Yeah, no large box. No one likes a large box. No. I want a box that fits just right. Mm. But he sent this little box mm. in a box that's like the size of this room. Mm. Filled mm -hmm. to the brim. The brim. With packing peanuts. Mm. The The herpes of the shipping world. The bane of all existence. I agree. You and I, eye to eye. <laughs> Can we do one on one? What do you mean, Mr. Scofax? Like, uh, I feel like this dude is extremely comfortable here. He's more comfortable than I am. I believe his comfortability will penetrate through you, so you will be more comfortable here as well. I, I want to take his man bun off and dust his shoulders with it. And his shirt is dumb. I feel like I'm in a place, right? Mm. I feel like you got this jackal with his feet. <laughs> All over me. I feel Mr. like. Scarfus, I think that we have to. John Garriger sending me big boxes with little boxes in it, like it's some sort of Russian doll. Where's the Allen doll? I, I think we'll have to schedule another session to speak specifically about the feet, as you say. It's getting. Let's let's just continue with the reviewers, the Dinobots, right. the combiners. What you're here for? Let's get through that. So they and turn into this big about, thing. Yes, this big thing. It's a nightmare. Hmm. It's super dumb. Mm. It looks like it looks like the Giving Tree had nothing left to give mm. when it came to this thing. Mm -hmm. It looks. Mm. What's he doing? 
I mean, at the very least, it's got to be unprofessional, right? <laughs> He's bouncing it <laughs> on my head. <laughs> like his foot is a backup dancer for Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Look, they're, they're bouncing like Cardi B's blood pressure. This is kind of metaphoric, Doc. Mm. For me, just not knowing what to do. Mm. Mr. Scofus, I think you just need to take a time to breathe and think. And just think and, and focus. Focus on what's really bothering you. Take your time, let the blood flow. So I'm thinking, Doc. Yes, yes. How many times of your life have you been able to say, this dude's feet are on my head? Plenty of times, Scofus. 